Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires. You might be thinking, what the heck is happening? What was that kind of like mini creator sim that we had at the beginning of the video? Well, you guys, today I am introducing you to someone who I've been thinking about for a while in this Let's Play. So as you guys know, Vlad is a human now. And basically what I have done is also recreated his love. So this is the woman who Vlad has loved forever. And she got turned into a human yeah a while back, way before like Caleb and what's her face, Lilith became vampires, way before all of that. However, Vlad has been able to keep her young due to his vampire blood. So he's never shared enough with her that she fully turns into a vampire. However, he has kept her alive on his vampire blood. So that's the only reason she's currently alive. He's finally re-found her since turning into a human and now he wants his revenge on Mr. Emilio. Obviously now Emilio is the most powerful vampire which is what Vlad always wanted to be. You know, he's like from one of the first blood generation of vampires along with Amora. And he never really expected to be dethroned by some new kid on the block who just happened to stumble into vampirism by finding it on the computer one day and also his sister being a vampire. But still, it was all luck in Emilio's case, whereas Vlad worked hard, kept up his nobility, kept his bloodline going. Well, actually, his bloodline stops at Vlad for now anyway. But Vlad wants to get his own back. He wants to try and knock Emilio off his uh, off his podium as strongest vampire. So what we're gonna do in this part is actually introduce Vlad to Anna. As you guys know, Anna is our local vampire hunter, the blood connoisseur. She knows what goes on in the vampire world. She's had all about Vlad. She knows the tales of him, how scary he's meant to be. However, he's a human now. He's no longer a vampire. He is no threat to Anna whatsoever. So poor old Vlad is gonna try and depend on a human, which is crazy. I mean, he is still a little bit, I'm guessing. He is only Vampire Law 3. Damn, Vlad is weaker than I originally thought. Um, but we're gonna have him use this and then we're gonna have some lunch and everything and then we're gonna go and visit little Miss Anna and see whether she can help Vlad. I'm sure she will be able to. She is 
a level... I think she knows all about vampire lore. However, Vlad's going to have to do a little bit of work, I am sure. Because what I want him to do is fully take down Emilio from his position <laughs> one by one. And to do so, he's probably going to need to scrub up on his vampire lore, which I probably will have him do. Um, so but Vlad... You know what? We're just going to travel together. Also, someone's doing work outside my house, which they've only just started, annoyingly. I've been, like, recording most of the day, and they've only just started, which is quite handy. However, not the best. So we are going to travel to Anna's house. We are going to travel with Amora. Anna's probably going to freak out. She's probably going to be like, what the hell? Who invited you here? Like, you are not welcome here. Even though you aren't a vampire anymore, I still don't approve of you. I mean, you were once the uh, most important vampire on the block. So let's go knock on her door. And uh, hopefully she'll be able to teach us... I mean, obviously, Vlad knows about a little bit about the uh, vampire weaknesses, like garlic and stuff. He has been a vampire for yonks. Huh. However, he doesn't know yes. all the tricks of the trade. Like I said, his vampire lore knowledge is pretty darn low for someone who was the OG. Um, we hate Anna right now, so we're going to have to try and uh, find common ground with her and, like actually try to become a decent human being to her. Um, I forgot that we got in like a big fight with her. So hopefully we'll be able to get this uh, situation back on good terms. Let's compliment her outfit and we'll get to know her a little bit. Um, are we gonna find some common ground? Is that gonna help us? It definitely helped us a bit. Uh, let's compliment her outfit again. <laughs> Uh, brighten her day. Okay, she's jealous. Um, maybe flatter her a bit. We know how to, how to please the woman. Not in that way. <laughs> as soon as that came out of my mouth, I was a bit like, whoa, no, not, not like that. I mean, let's debate existence of vampires. Obviously, they both know that vampires exist by this point. Uh, Vlad is a loner. Which means that's why he's so, like, shitty to people. He just doesn't care. Um, let's share some photos. Come on, we just gotta become, like, friends with you. Discuss interests. I'm sure we have some mutual interests, aka taking down Emilio. Anna's played this game where she really led Emilio to believe that she was friendly with him and, like, kind of approved of him in a way. Like... She was using him to get a little bit close. Well, he thought she was using him to get a little bit closer to Jory and Persephone. However, that has not been the case so far. She actually hasn't really got... Right, what are you two arguing about? Amora, now is not the time. Let's flatter her again. And we'll enthuse about new albums. Joke about old times. Um, confess fear of vampires. I mean, we probably shouldn't be fearful of them. I don't think she's going to approve of that so much. She might be like, well, then this task isn't for you. If you are scared of them, then this is not a task to be done by you, but we'll try and prove our point. Uh, find common ground again. Go on. Why aren't we trying to find common ground? Uh, friendly. Is it back? No. Okay, we should probably focus on uh, vampire lore, actually, but does she have any vampire things? See, I wanted to uh, kind of have her, like, teach Vlad in the ways of vampire lore, um, but she unfortunately doesn't have any books, and I doubt Vlad has any books on him. I mean, I guess, can we buy books from here? More choices, order, purchase books. Can that be done? And can it go straight to our inventory? Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's on the skill. It'll be at the bottom. Writing, wellness, violin, video gaming. Why can we not order it? Herbalism, handiness, guitar, gourmet cooking, gardening, fitness, fishing, cooking. Where's the vampire ones? Vampire secrets. Oh, there we go. Purchase. Duh! I was clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, vampire secrets, puncher. Uh, there we go. Number one. 
Let's yeah, grab that. And let's get to studying. We are going to oh, read that. Yeah. I'm going to see whereabouts he is in it. Um, and we obviously need to get up his mixology as well because I do want to go over some of the drinks and that's going to really be his downfall. Whilst reading about vampires, Vlad learned the secret of converting fish and frogs into tasty plasma. He can now create plasma packs, which we aren't going to do because we don't need them anymore. Humans cannot drink plasma packs and even if they could, that would be disgusting. Uh, Vlad read that really powerful vampires sometimes pass down to their experience to Sims and they turn, which is awful. Um, because he's probably gonna try to like, he's laughing manically because he's evil, I'm guessing that is. Right, why don't you continue eating your scrambled eggs? You do need to work on your mixology as well. I will be doing a lot of this off screen because I do want this storyline to uh, progress, um, him and Anna, but we definitely just need to become friends with her. We'll enthuse about vampires in the sense that like, we're gonna kill them all and it's gonna be great. Um, and let's brighten her day a little bit. We're getting closer. We are definitely becoming friendlier with her. <laughs> um, ask her about her day and debate existence once again, maybe? Amora really doesn't seem impressed. <laughs> we will go out with Amora. Maybe not out, but we'll like cook her a romantic meal. Don't worry. I'm not just going to like introduce a new character and then not play with her whatsoever. I just really want him and Anna to really find some common ground around this time because we need her on our side. She's like our weapon. She's our tool. She's going to be our tool for knowledge. Yes, we're going to use the vampire tomes, but she's going to kind of be our tutor in the way of vampires. She knows the ins and outs of them. I mean, she still lives in Forgotten Hollow, which definitely holds a uh, an advantage point for us because she can still have a look on all the vampires. Are any of them out actually at the moment? I don't think any of our lot are out and about. I was assuming they would be. However, they are not. So this is part 25 of Vampires, I think. I am gonna end it at part 30, which is why I'm obviously gonna do a lot of this Vlad stuff off screen, because we really only have five parts to play with. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying this Let's Play. Right. We've kind of got there with her, but we still need to do a little bit more. Oh god, she's gone to work out. Um, let's quickly go... Um, ask her about the day. Maybe do an impression. Come on, Vlad. Go chat to her quickly. Compliment her outfit. You two, stop having an unpleasant conversation. I think it's because... Uh, He's like in a bad mood, so he kind of doesn't want to talk to Amora right now. But we will be cooking her a nice meal, so she just needs to be quiet for like two seconds. Sorry, I know I just introduced you. I shouldn't be yelling at her already, but I am. Uh, compliment her outfit. Gossip. Go on, catch up on a little bit of gossip. Vlad's definitely missed out whilst uh, living in a in Newcrest. He's not been around Forgotten Hollow. He doesn't know what's been happening recently. I mean, Emilio hasn't been up to much. He's been quite living quite a reserved lifestyle for sure. Definitely not the Emilio way he used to, but I think he's just waiting for like his moment to pounce. Okay, so we're no longer mortal enemies with Anna, which is good. So we're going to head off back home and treat Amora to a nice romantic meal together. So let's head back to the cave. I know, not the most romantic of settings for her, but they're safe. You know, we need to get some garlic, actually. We need Vlad to... Uh, order a fair amount of garlic because I want him protected. I don't want any, especially Emilio, getting in here. So we need to buy some uh, some garlic. I think we are going to need a PC though. So let's quickly buy a computer. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's get a desk. We'll just get this one. That can go here and get another chair there we go and a pc uh we'll get 
We'll get this one in black. There we go. So we got a new PC. I am going to, where is it? Web? Nope. Uh, order. We are going to purchase some garlic seeds. We're going to go for a whole ton of them. Uh, let's get like 15. Sure. And just plant a load of garlic in our front garden. So let's grab these quickly. Um, oh, we need to open them. Oh, how many do these seed packets have in? Open. Huh? Did he open one? There we go. So they got two cloves in each. So let's plant these. We're just going to do them in like... Uh, plant that one. Plant that one. We'll leave them there. Oh, has she gone to bed? Oh, is she crying? What's she doing? Oh, she's embarrassed. Socially awkward. Oh, that's not very good. And he's super tired, but hopefully we'll be able to cook something up. Uh, so let's serve some dinner. He's not the greatest chef. I mean, he's been a vampire for most of his young adulthood, so... I can see why he's probably not very good in the cooking skill. So I'm going to have him make some salad and uh, maybe we'll purchase, can we purchase like a little candlestick or a rose to put in? Uh, a single rose. There we go. Oh, we need to unlock that. God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's put this in the middle then. I mean, it's not a rose, it's not quite as romantic, but it's better than nothing. So he's gonna come and cook some garlic salad. We got our garlic plants growing out here. Like I said, I wanna deck this place out in garlic 100%. Um, you can come and water these. I'm also probably gonna age up the kids. I kind of want to just like age them up into teenagers because I want to explore teenagers. So if you're okay with me aging them up straight to teenagers, we can just pretend it's like some Twilight bullshit where like the kids grow up really quick. <laughs> I mean, I know they've been toddlers for a while, but we could age them up into teenagers and just just pretend it's like Twilight, even though they're not vampires in Twilight, let's be real. Um... No hate to Twilight though. The films, yes, not the best. However, the books, I enjoyed. They were a guilty pleasure of mine when I was about 13 years old. So I can't really, I have to call myself out on that one. I'm not a hater of Twilight, even though they aren't proper vampires. Not in the traditional sense anyway. They're like modern day vampires. But he is cooking that, there we go. And we are gonna call everyone to the meal. Hopefully we'll sit down at our lovely oh table for two no. and have a nice romantic meal with one another, which will be quite cute. Come on, come sit down. There we go. Um, let's ask her about her day. Did you enjoy your day, sweetheart? Even though I complained at you for most of it. I hope you did. We have a lot of catching up to do as well. Um, so let's have a deep conversation. We're also going to compliment her outfit, you know. She's looking lovely tonight, so let's give her a compliment. It's weird to see Vlad in a setting where he's not, like, super lonely and stuff. Um, it is bizarre. I kind of got the inspiration from her from the pictures of the wall of the mansion. I don't know whether it was meant to be his mother or, like, she was the founding woman. I don't know, but I took it as I'm going to introduce her as his lover, which is a bit weird if it is meant to be his mom. Sims gurus, please don't get on my back. Because <laughs> I haven't actually read the description of those pictures. I just saw her and, like, wanted to go this kind of storyline. Even though Vlad was, like, a major vampire, I still wanted him to have a little bit of humanity left in him. Especially now that he is a human. However, guys, I'm going to end this part here. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't worry. I will be playing him off screen. So we will get him skilled up. And probably in the next part, he's going to tr try to take down Emilio. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below of what you would like to see in this Let's Play. We've got five parts remaining, so definitely get those ideas in, and I will speak to you all in the next video. Bye, guys!